Okay, let's look at problem number seven. A 100 granite cube slides on a 40 degree frictionless ramp at the bottom just as it exits onto a horizontal table, it collides with a 200 gram steel cube at a rest. How high above the table should the granite cube be released to give the steel cube a speed of 150 centimeters per second? This problem is very similar to number four in the setup, although it's asking for something different in the end. So let's first draw a picture. You have 40 degrees, you have a cube up here, 100 grams. It's gonna come down, start sliding this way, and then hit another cube of 200 grams. The reason is very similar to problem number four. This problem number four has this set up. It's a rounded ramp, but in this case, it's not gonna matter because all of that energy that's potential up here is gonna turn into kinetic energy down here, and then it's gonna hit. You're gonna have conservation of momentum, and even though it doesn't say, you're gonna to have to use conservation of kinetic energy in order to solve this problem. And the math turns out very similar because you have this mass being twice as much as this one, same thing over here, this object down here has twice the mass of this one. And so what we're gonna look for is this height over here to give this a final speed of 150, meters, 150 centimeters per second. And so from this problem, if you don't understand, uh, I'm gonna go kind of fast with the math for this, but look at problem number four to go in on it in more detail. But this energy, potential energy turns into kinetic energy, mgh equals one half mv squared, which is gonna be the velocity of the cube down here. Masses cancel, and you get v is equal to square root of two gh at the bottom, where this is the original height. And then when they hit, we're gonna have conservation of momentum. So you're gonna have m times square root of two gh equals, this is the initial momentum, the final momentum is gonna be m v1 plus two m v2, and here I'm letting m equal to 100 grams, and so two m is gonna be the 200 grams. And I'm doing that because that way, that's how the, the problem number four was gonna set up, and that's gonna let me more easily cancel things out. Notice here that already the m's cancel out. Conservation of kinetic energy, m, one half m, b squared. Well, b squared for the initial is gonna be this squared, so it's two gh, one half b one squared plus one half cancels m b two squared. And let's do some canceling, the masses cancel. The two cancels here, the masses cancel. And once again, same strategy, we're gonna square the top, 2gh equals v1 squared plus 4v2 squared plus 4v1v2. And then down here we multiply by 2, 2gh equals v1 squared, two cancels out there, plus 2v2 squared. Add them, these cancel, these cancel, and you're gonna get zero equals two, sorry, not add them, subtract. Two V two squared plus four V one V two. This, These are the details that I'm talking about that are in problem number four that I go through more slowly. And then move this, one of these guys over, uh, move this one over, negative two V two squared equals four V one V two. This cancels with the V two. And let me think about what I want in the end. I'm gonna be solving for, or I know the final velocity of the second one, V2. So I'm gonna substitute V1 to have an equation with V2, so I'll isolate V1. So V1 is gonna be equal to negative one half V2. This is what I want so that I can substitute into this equation. And if I write out that, a square root of two gh equals v1 is getting substituted, so negative one half v2 plus two v2. Two minus a half is three halves. And then what we want is to know what the h is in order to make v2 equal to 150 centimeters per second. So 
I'm going to square both sides to gh equals 9 fourths v2 squared. 2 is going to come down, g is going to come down. g is going to be 9 over 8 g v2 squared. Let's put some numbers to it. 9 over 8 over g times and the speed that we want is 150 centimeters per second, so it's 1.5 meters per second. 0 0.258 is the height, it's in meters, and that's what we have for our answer. And that's it, done.